Good morning and welcome to Yap. Good morning. Today is a special day, a very, very special day. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it is the 99th episode of Yap. Can I press it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can't hear what you said. No. All right, fair enough. 99 episodes, guys. Um, so I had to bring out the big guns. To my right is the man, the myth, the legend, Busky. Kia ora. How you doing, Busky? I'm good, bro. How are you? Not too bad. Not too bad. I can't yeah. complain. Can't, cannot complain. Mm. 99 episodes. It's crazy. Crazy. I think <clears throat> the first episode you hopped on was, I think, episode 60. Oh, true. Yeah. So... Oh yeah, it's crazy. The growth is crazy. So when you joined, what was it on? I started day one. I, oh. I made the first one. Yeah, Yep is my little baby. For those who don't know, so <clears throat> trying to like and subscribe, please. Mm, like, subscribe, monetize. Sponsors, hit us up. Sponsors, yep, please. please. Um, all right, let's talk about it. So, do you have any funny, crazy stories? Anything you want to get off your chest? Now is the time to do so. Well, um. So I have a friend, right? And he's doing this thing where um, in 90 days he has to, you know, take a shirt off. Otherwise, he goes bald. Who's that? And I, I don't know, bro. He's uh, always wears this green top and black beanie, right? Yeah. So anyways, he has been going to the gym, been on a diet. Um, But yeah, he's been eating sensational chicken. Uh, chicken on chips with cheese and then a wrap. Accusations. And then False accusations. accusations. I actually False took a photo accusations. the other day when you ate it. Did you actually? Yeah. See, you just owned up to it. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, good tactic. I was I was also like playing into the joke, and it yeah, yeah. Obviously, yeah. no, I would never touch that stuff by like a, yeah, I would never touch that stuff. It's bad. I, I only eat like grilled tuna every day now. So. Mm, grilled tuna. Yeah, 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 that's the one. Um yeah, no, that's that's one of the stories of all time. Thank you very much. No, nah, no worries, bro. Nah, bro. We got to talk about what we just did. What did we just do? In the war room. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. Break it down. <laughs> so my cousin, he, uh, we need people for, we need a guy for Dating Void. Yeah. For those who don't know, <clears throat> the Dating Void filming is tonight. Tonight? I can't believe I did that. <laughs> that's oh, no, crazy. Wait, by the time this comes out, the Dating Void would have been yesterday. Yeah. So we're looking for people, audience and participants, and... And, um, yeah, I told my cousin about it, and he said he wasn't keen, and then I got Abdel to call him and said, congratulations, you're, <laughs> you've made it. <laughs> and then he's like, what? Okay, here's my email. Yeah. And then he messaged me freaking out. So, yeah. Yeah, I called him, being like, hello, this is John from The Dating Void. How are you doing? <laughs> John. John. I don't know why. <laughs> and then he's like, and then you can, you know, like, meet up with people in the car park and just hook up. <laughs> I try. I was trying to sell that as much as I can. My cousin's probably like, "Bro, what kind of place is? This? Wait, how old is he? He's twenty six. Oh, okay, that's yeah, cool. he's calm. Easy, easy. Yeah. So, um, I think my my way, my next career move is gonna be into professional prank caller. Yeah, I think. I think. What was what was the one where they used to do? Oh, I used to watch it as a kid. On each pranks. Yes. The guy that yes. had the accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Indian, that was the good. Arab accent. That was good. Or the Arab accent. You know, he's Arab. The actual he? guy. He revealed his face. Oh, shucks. Yeah, he's actually, uh, he's actually Abdu. 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 Not Abdi. Brother, listen. A brother. Tell me the one. Mm. All right. So let's get into the news yes. letter. <clears throat> yeah, yep. Mm. What the hell is that? Yep. Your attention, please. Newsletter. Subscribe now. I think we just crossed 5,000 subscribers. Yeah. And we want to help. 50, Just subscribe, please. Thank you. Please subscribe. Um, the first article. Do you want to go over Converse or the rebranding? Let's go over Converse. All right, Converse. This is interesting because mm. we both come from retail backgrounds. Yeah. For those who don't know, um, Converse is one of the most iconic shoe brands of all time. Obviously, I don't need to say that. Everybody mm -hmm. knows that. Pretty sure half the office wears them. Uh, not half the office. Like a lot of the people in the office have them. A lot of people wear them. Yeah. They're everywhere. Mm. You can't hide from them. I come from a shoe store background, so half my store was Converse. Mm. And <laughs> what? And no, no. Let me let's lock in. And 
you remember like I don't know if you know this, but you know this. But then you remember the knee high Chuck Taylor's Converse? Oh yeah, yeah, the yeah. Super yeah, like yeah. meme ones. They're uh, back. The kind of like made you feel like you were emo. Yes. Cause tonight will be the night that I will fall for you. Well, they're back. And actually, like reading this article, it says not only did they like tease the product for a while, they're like actually back now. Like, bro, at the shop I used to work at, they're there now. Actual. Swear to God. I saw them on the website. I don't know if they're at the store physically, but they're on the website, like new arrivals. And it's the knee high Chuck Taylors. Damn. Crazy. That means I gotta start wearing eyeliner. I gotta start wearing those gloves with the holes in them. Striped white and black tee. Yeah. Long sleeve under the black tee. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> but it's crazy because like this, these shoes they used to be a big thing back in the mm. day. Um, definitely, I don't think it's any far scenes. Yeah. But yeah. like they were a big thing. What the knee high ones? Yeah. <sighs> like the. You don't remember like seeing those memes of like emo kids wearing them and stuff? I I'd see the memes, but I never saw someone physically wearing them. But that's maybe because yeah. I lived in South Auckland. I've only seen one person ever wear it in public, and that was like four or five years ago in my high school's Mufti Day. Right. Yeah, and safe to say they weren't a popular kid. So yeah, I feel I feel like you know it's crazy. I feel like it's it's quite brave bringing them back. Yeah. Because um. Yeah, I know that back in the days, bullying would have been insane. Yeah. Especially if you're wearing knee-high shoes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's crazy because like usually like with a lot of this stuff, it's it's like a swinging boat. Yeah. So when, when something is really unpopular and really hated, <coughs> suddenly it becomes cool to like that thing. Yeah. Because yeah. people are always trying to be the minority in the thing. Everyone's trying to be different. Exactly. Yeah. And so when everybody likes skinny jeans, suddenly the baggy jeans are the cool thing. Yeah. Now everybody likes baggy jeans. Suddenly, low key, quickly, like slimmer and skinny jeans are becoming popular again. Amen. Slowly, though. thick lives matter. That part. Um, mm. it, this is interesting. This is interesting though about the the knee high boots themselves, the knee high shoes, is because they actually teased them in April Fools of 2022 on their TikTok Converse. True. Yeah. On, on in April Fools on their TikTok, they teased that they were coming back, and two years later, they're actually back. Oh, wrong one? No. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the takeaways from this is it's just like give the people what they want. Kind of yeah, thing. it's kind of the aspect of like, you know, like because they have some diehard fans. Yeah. And they probably got knee high shoes when this feet size were like much shorter. They would have been teens. They yep. would have been like just starting high school and now it's good they can like listen to what's that band called Paramore Limp Bizkit yeah Limp Bizkit Paramore yeah. put on eyeliner Deftones yeah Deftones are nice um, yeah but, but no I think it's it's kind of smart that they kind of did it as an April Fool's in 2022 because mm. in my head now looking back you would think maybe that oh maybe they did actually want to bring it back the whole time but they weren't sure that it was the right time yeah. So in 2022, when they did tease it as April Fool's joke, and they saw the reaction from the audience, yeah, the audience was like, "No, what? Come on! Like we actually need this." Yeah, yeah. yeah now yeah. they're like, "Say no more." Well, because now, like, in, I feel like, I feel like before 2020, yeah, it was like lame to do stuff that was seen weird. Yeah. But now in 2024, it's like, oh yeah, that's gonna make me look weird. Like cool. Yeah. Like let's do it. Like I rock with it. Like yeah. I fuck with it. Like this is so awesome. Yeah. For sure. Mm. Would you yeah. wear it? Loki? Yeah. Yeah. But like... But you always you wear pants. That's the thing. You wouldn't tell I'd be wearing them. <laughs> yeah. But I would wear them. Would you? Yeah, yeah. Like for the longest growing up, I'd always have like mid Jordans and mid forces. Yeah. But it's no point. I, my shoes are always covering... Damn, that looks tragic. Bro, how many shoelaces would be on those shoes? Uh, it's just what, But it's long as hell. It's long uh, as hell. Yeah. You know what sucks about that? Maybe I don't think it's zipper. I think it's just lace, right? Mm, yeah. So, how long does it take to put on? A That's what off? I'm thinking, bro. Like, like I I used to have high top chucks. I still do. Yeah. And like putting them on, like you know, you have to squeeze it and then just yeah. put your finger at the back. Yeah. But this, you're gonna have to like fully lift your leg up and it. Yeah. Just and those Converse, they only go up just above your ankle. Yeah. The, the other ones go like just under your knee. Mm. So imagine like the amount of time. That's crazy. Beauty's pain. 
beauty is pain beauty <laughs> is life beauty is love but i think yeah i mean the like this is just a reminder to like always like engage with the people give the people kind of mm-hmm. what they want yeah and let nostalgia do its thing like i'm sure this these converse things they were a really good thing in the early 2000s mm. and the fact that they kind of like died down or they they let it die down and they stopped producing them for a while yeah it built that sense of nostalgia in the in the past 100%. so now now was the perfect time to run it back yeah cuz like after they did the april fools thing and they saw the commotion they could have probably like come out with them mm. but they didn't and they held on another two years i feel like it's like a guilty pleasure what I don't know for me. Nostalgia or no, no. Nah, nah, like we're like if I did wear those shoes, yeah, <laughs> it would be like can't let gang no I'll fuck with this. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> can't let gang. I'm like after you drop off your boys and then you start playing, you're like you start t- playing. Yeah, your yeah, you start playing Taylor Surf, start playing like yeah. Paramore. Yeah, can't let gang. I have knee high Converse on. Mm, yeah, knee-high. you wouldn't wear them. I would, but. I feel like it'd be very pointless to wear them if you weren't wearing shorts. Yeah. And I'm Indian and I've got chicken legs, so Fair. I don't think that's a good combination. I need to see them at the gym. My legs? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. No, the Converse, like the knee-high Converse. Because yeah. people are always wearing Converse at the gym. I want to see the Imagine knee-high. squatting in that, bro. You won't even be able to move. The laces just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I Damn. Know. That was Converse. Converse. I love the knee-high boots for the record. I think you should sponsor me. Us. Mm. Sponsor Yeah Podcast. Sponsor Yeah Podcast. Thank you. Let's get us to 5 million. Yeah. You know, bro, our Instagram is really bad. It's We started in February and it has 189 followers to this day. Really? Yeah, to this day. Who manages it? Me. That's why. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> it'll, it'll grow. Like, you know, eventually. Can I do this? Yeah. Yeah. Eventually it'll grow. Yeah. You know, like... You just got to stay persistent. I hope so. But I was getting like one follower every like two weeks when I started. Yeah. And then posted one video and it reached over a thousand views. And I was like, gassed. I was like, yo, I'm like famous. Yeah. Like I can't take the trash out, you know, like people are going to bombard me. And then I just kept posting, kept posting. And then like eventually it just, it's that momentum, eh? When momentum picks up. Yeah. And your stuff's getting shared and then you post something new. Yeah. It's just going to get views. One day. You're doing good, bro. One day. You're doing really good. Thank you. I appreciate <coughs> you. I love you. Love you too. Can't believe I said that. Um, moving on mm. to where I think the general topic we're going to be talking about is rebranding. Yeah. Um, in the newsletter, the cover over the ways to have a successful rebrand or a brand glow up. Mm. <coughs> um, the examples off the top of my head, or the examples, I'm, I lied, the examples that are in the news article are... Duncan Donut to Duncan. Yeah. And Kia, like the old logo to like the new logo, how they look kind of coolish now. Yeah. You, have you seen the new Kia logo? I have a little. I saw the new Duncan logo. Yeah. But not the new Kia. Kia logo, new. It's this thing? Ah. Oh. Yeah. And. It looks ass. <laughs> 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 oh my God. Bro, whoever the designer for that is. Sheesh. It must be happy the Chucks are coming back. <laughs> Damn. Oh my days. Um Kia, I don't think so. I, I think don't otherwise Kia. sponsor us. Kia. I don't Kia. <laughs> so try. My God. Oh my golly. <laughs> You know, before it was okay, like it was red, like it said Kia, but now it's just like line, 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 line. Yeah, but I think it's just, the whole thing has changed. It's, just, it's not just like a logo. Mm. When people do a rebrand, it's not just a logo. Um, oh, let me defend Kia just, for once. Well, let me defend Kia. Can I just see it one more time? Go. No, I'm just going to just see it one more time. Right. I'm about to show Busky the Kia logo. Mm-hmm. That's the old one, and that's the new one. That's the old one. Oh, uh, yo. It's oh. nice, right? Yeah. Yeah. Fire. Yeah. Fire. So which one is it? <laughs> Fire. You sure? Yeah, like it should be in Hell with Satan. <laughs> Yo, bro. Chill, bro. <laughs> Sorry, dog. Nah, you're good. You're good. Um, 
Yeah, no, but a rebrand is definitely like more than a more than a logo. For real. Yeah. Like it's about like um the brand's aesthetic, the brand's direction, the brand's um position in the market sort of thing. I feel like that's really important. What is? Because like rebranding yourself. Yeah. Because well, I'll just use myself for instance, like when I started, yeah. Like my content was I'll be the first to say it, real out the gate. Like I had no filter mm. because I was Wait, uh, you used to have no filter? I used to have no filter. This is filter. Oh, okay, bro. okay, okay. This okay. is mad filter. Right, right. I used to have no filter, and that's because I was coming up. And now that I've come, it's <laughs> sorry, pause. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Now that I've came, I feel like I can rebrand myself to be more PG and yeah. But yeah. why? Mm. Not for real. Why? It's it's better, bro. Money. It's like more opportunities. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's it's like you're not you're not building this name for yourself or like this brand for yourself. Yeah. Just to get a lot of people's eyes on it and then not really gain anything from it. For sure. It comes to a point where you're like, okay, then what am I gonna get out of this? Yeah. Make it worthwhile for you to make content every day, etc. Yeah. Yeah. But I think, yeah, the whole thing with Kia is that they've, like, rebranded into being, like, a more premium car mm. thing. Um, like, starting from the logo, obviously, but even, like, the whole col- color palette, like, it used to be, like, white and red. Yeah. And now it's just, like, gray, like, muted black, like, just, like, shades of gray and mm. black. And it looks, like, a bit more sophisticated. Fifty Shades of Gray type stuff. Almost. Yeah. And then the other example is Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, I've seen the one. They one looks cool. I but like it's the, not. They literally just took out the donuts, right? Yeah, but it looks retro. It looks like more modern. Let's see what the difference is. Well, let's go back on Chucks. Where are you? <laughs> I've been trying to find you. Yeah. Where are you? Okay, so it used to mm-hmm. look like this. Yeah. No, it looks like that. It used to look like this. No, it looks like that. There's no way the camera. Can you zoom in? Can you zoom in off for me? I can't even see it. Nah, I like the old one. Loki. Yeah. Yeah. It it makes it feel more homely. Like now, it just looks like it's a department store for like a bid. It almost looks like I don't know why it it gives me the idea that it's uh pet food. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, it does. I don't there's, know. There's no like life to it. <coughs> yeah. You know, and the other one had like a coffee, had like different colors. Yeah. But it's crazy because it worked. Did it? Yeah. So like when they did the rebrand in 2018. Yeah. Um, just taking out the donuts made over time made people perceive them as more than a donut store. They're now seen more as a coffee shop. <coughs> or maybe equal, maybe it's like 50-50 now. Mm. It's like half coffee shop, half um co- half coffee shop, half donuts. Even because like I remember like maybe Almost maybe two years ago now. Yeah. You know, Charlie D'Amelio? She yeah, came yeah. up with... Is it her? I think she came up with a drink to collaboration in what? collaboration with them. Was it Duncan? Yeah. Oh, Buzzy. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Right? Yeah. And so, yeah, I think they were just pushing because um, I think the coffee biz- <clears throat> the coffee market is just, uh, by default, a lot bigger than donuts. Yeah. Um, the average person is like more likely to, to have like more than maybe like more than one coffee a day rather than like more than one donut a day. Yeah, they probably thought everyone was like Homer Simpson. Yeah. Yeah. Almost. But that's crazy. I don't know why they did that because I don't even eat Dunkin' Donuts. They're trash. Yeah. But would like, would, trying to think, like, would a rebrand change your mind? Like, would you, would, are you more likely to go try Dunkin' Donut, Dunkin's coffee now rather than when it was called Dunkin' Donuts? Hell no. Right. Duncan, I feel like there's there's a thing for everything, right? Yeah. Once you start your business or whatever it is, and this is just my perspective, and it grows that big, yep. and you've had the name Duncan Donuts for so long, yep. you can rebrand that as much as you like. People are going to still think it's a donut shop. I don't think it's ever going, maybe like 30 years down yeah, the line, the there'll be like coffee. Yeah, I was going to say it takes. it's going to take a lot, but a it's long not, time. Like this decade... Maybe the end of next decade, that's when it'll start to like pick up. Yeah. But I don't think anytime soon, to be honest, yeah. bro. That's the thing. Especially with how like from the outside looking in, like of um how like 
short of a time the internet has had, like maybe let's say what thirty years, maybe mm. like with the whole social media and stuff, twenty yeah. years, thirty years. Um, yeah, we like still remember that all that all the push from marketing from then, yeah, as what it is now, yeah, or even like because low key that might like mess with the idea of nostalgia, you know, mm. um, because you're gonna you're gonna look at the current business or current entity and be like, damn. It's not like I miss the old Duncan. Bro, donuts. I was, you know, it's crazy you say that. I was actually thinking about that the other day. Yeah. Like, even though Disney Plus has been around for so long. Yeah. And I love Disney Plus because it's got all my childhood shows. Yeah. I kind of miss the feeling of going onto your TV, like cable TV, and just putting in the number like 100 and then you, you're you on Disney Channel. Yeah. And then like 3 p.m. there's Wizards of Waverly Place, 3.30 there's Zach and Cody. Yeah. It's like... Sweet. It's like it's there. It's just, you know, yeah. any time of the day, you don't have to open an app, do this and that. Yeah. And I miss seeing like the little ads they would do. Yes. Yes, I remember the ads. Because, uh, yeah, for ads. me, it was more Nickelodeon. I used to watch a lot I of I love Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon too. Oh, Drake and Josh, Cat and Dog. Cat and Dog. Uh, oh. What's the other one? Uh, uh, Victorious, iCarly. No, Gumball's Cartoon Network. Yeah. Yeah, well, Cartoon Gumball's. Cartoon. Regular mm. Show. I never could watch that. Big, uh, Big Time Rush. Yeah. I think just one last example of the rebrand that I think we should just um, get over real quickly is the Facebook, mm. how they transitioned to Meta late yeah. last year or like in the middle of last year. I feel like that's cool. I feel like that it's weird. Like I know I'm being so like contradicting with what I'm saying, but yeah. I feel like it's <laughs> and the finger got stuck on my shoe. <laughs> um, I feel like it's, it's better for businesses, you know? Yeah. Cause I feel like, Facebook was dying. Okay. Like, it wasn't dying. But like, the boomers were still using it. The old generation was still using it. Yep. But, like, for our generation, Gen Z especially, yep. they kind of diverted away from Facebook. Mm. And then now you got content creators who are trying to make money, and you got Meta. Yes. It's like all business, and it's a perfect place for them to hop on again and make some money. Yeah. I think also the good thing with that, with the whole name change, is because Facebook is Facebook was the platform. Mm. No, Facebook is still the platform, but Facebook also was the company that owned WhatsApp, Instagram, hmm. et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Now it's Meta that owns okay. everything. So now when Facebook gets and gets put in the wildfire and Facebook is facing all the backlash, all the other stuff don't have to buy association. Mm. Like they're still obviously connected. Yeah. But when you think Instagram as part of Facebook, not Instagram as part of Meta. Yeah. So yeah. I guess it gives you like a layer of protection, to be honest. I don't know. Mm. Um, you always need protection. Remember, if you don't have protection, you're going to get something you regret. And this you is not the dating board. Oh. Yeah. Oh uh, anyways, boy. we've got two minutes left. Do you have anything else you want to say? For the camera? Um, any, anything, anything, any question you had in life, I, could, I have the answer for. So, I don't have a question, but I would like to say this to that camera. And I can't see the other camera, this yeah. camera. Chase your dreams. Remember, life is short. You only have one life. And... <laughs> Dude, don't laugh. Chase your dreams. <laughs> you only have one life. Remember, every day is a blessing. Take care of your parents because that's the number one priority everyone should have. And you should be blessed to have them on this earth. Um, and stay committed at the gym. Don't cheat on your diet. Don't eat sensational chicken with bloody chicken on chips with extra cheese and a wrap because that is apparently good for the calories one meal a day somebody say but yes i don't know why we're an indian but yes look i got I, f I was feeling inspirational at one point you know when he said the whole parents thing and then mm. suddenly shh, the old gym thing um yeah with that being said guys thank you so much for tuning in to the last 99 episodes i know it's like one or two of you but i really appreciate you mm. i see who you are we see you we um, see you tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to the newsletter but even more importantly watch your podcast Watch your podcast. Watch your podcast. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a dog, tell your friend, tell a friend, watch your... Uh, uh, right, that being said, guys, thank you so much. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Episode 100 tomorrow.